All right, all right. We're live from 304 Studios in a very hot Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an STSPod.club production. That's right. This is episode 739 of stspod.club in episode 127 of rolling into mempo i want to remind everyone to go to stspod.club for the patreon i got real excited there but in the right hand corner link of all links patreon patreon it's only five dollars a month you get all kinds of fun extra stuff we had the record store this past week on monday and the sixth annual that's right sixth annual breakout stars for 2023 on thursday if you are a patreon member you'll hear us talking about some of the memphis wrestling superstars breakout stars that is uh we i just want to be a reminder here we will not have a new episode of stspod.club until next saturday with rolling into mempo we have a new tradition of taking kind of like the last week of july the first week of august off uh, with the bookends of rolling into Mempo, similar to what we do for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Now, guys, every week, if this is the first time you join me, shame on you, but every week we do hits, misses, MVP, question of the week, what's happening, and must see. Now to the upcoming events, and then on with the show. We are Memphis Wrestling. Join us live Saturday, August 5th is our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's. Watch WWE SummerSlam absolutely free with us. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Sunday, August 6th, former WWE superstars Chris Masters and Dirty Dango are coming to Memphis Wrestling. Meet them both at our VIP experience. Saturday, August 19th, Memphis Wrestling and the Pontotoc Run Club are fundraising for St. Jude with special guest, WWE Hall of Famer, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Meet Hacksaw at our VIP experience and reserve your seat today. Oh! Saturday, August 26th, Gleason, Tennessee. Get ready for the Tater Town Throwdown, benefiting Gleason High School. Sunday, August 27th, he's a certified G and a bona fide stud. The real one, formerly known as Enzo Amore, is coming to Memphis Wrestling. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. All right, hits, hits, hits. Guys, I just want to tell you, this is really one of the best shows. It's right there. It may be the best show of the 127. Very close. Uh, show started with a lot of people all out in the dressing room. Uh, then we see Lance Archer coming through the front. Archer gets in the ring, beats the hell out of Brad and Uncle Phil. Main event, Brad. Uh, skim a horn. Uh, he then challenges Cruel to a casket match. Very well done. Fun stuff. I love the stuff with Archer uh, in Dustin's face. Very well done. Uh, we got a clip of Ash Taylor challenging Ray Collins against the righteous Ryan Rembrandt for next week. Triple R is what I like to call him. Good stuff there. Tim Grind. Guys, you might want to put Tim Grind at the wrestling school. Great promo, lots of intensity. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Up next, tag team championship match, the O'Neill brothers versus DK and Ray Ray. Uh, they have new match of gear. Ah, oh, loved it. Loved the new match of gear. Crowd was so loud in this match and for the tapings. Uh, it also, if you notice at the very back, it uh, looks like standing room only. We did the uh, heat on Ray Ray. Uh, ended up uh, lots of stuff going on at the very end. Nixie XS. Hopefully I got that right. Nix SX. SX. <laughs> Nixie XS did a fantastic promo after she in interfered in the match, causing the DQ. I had mentioned her being with these two guys on Patreon. Listen, guys, Patreon is a place to be, but she did a real good interview. She's going to be fun with these two guys. We got a clip from last week 
of the Pope talking about Ray Collins and Ray Collins doing a little promo. I love stuff like this, showing the clips after the fact. Uh, then we had Mr. Chris Vignette. Now we go back to Tim Grind saying, look, he's going to find Lance McKay. He's going to find his son today if he has to, you know, if he has to hunt down Chris and Simon. And Chris says, you don't have to hunt me down. Uh, Simon's babysitting, but I'll be there. I'll wrestle you. Up next, uh, we had hits, hits, hits. Yeah, it keeps on, man. I told you this is a really, really, really good show. Cassandra Golden promo followed by Bashley Bones. That was easy to say compared to uh, Nixie XS. Uh, but Bashley Bones against Cassandra Golden. Let me say something. This might have been might have been the best girls match in the whole 127 episodes. If you find a better one, send it to me. But this was a solid, good match. Boom, boom, boom. Really liked it. We saw Cassandra going over. Uh, Bashley Bones, real good. Both both ladies were fantastic in that match. We had Hollywood Jimmy talking about working conditions and trying to trying to get an interview set up. Just, man, I just love this stuff. I love this stuff with Jimmy. I can't wait to see the finish of him coming out of the wheelchair. Oh, if he's able to come out of the wheelchair. You guys know he's hurt, right? Right. Uh, fun, fun stuff. We had a really good interview started with Dr. Tom. And Dr. Tom did work in Memphis for a while. And so he's coming home or coming back to Memphis was probably pretty cool for him. But we had Austin Lane coming out, and I really thought they was going to do the deal where Austin Lane attacks Tom Pritchard. But Bosby kind of made the save, sticking uh, his face right into Austin Lane's face. And, and man, they're going to go at it again. Uh, but it's going to be a little different this time. Looks like we're talking, and Terrence said this. Uh, uh, a character change or attitude change from Bosby. We're going to see the Bob's Bosby baby face there. Uh, a real good St. Juice segment, uh, stuff like this. It shows what we're, what Memphis wrestling is doing. Very, very well done. Uh, then we had the, uh, last hit here, Chris against, uh, Mr. Chris against Tim grind. That was just a brawl guys, just a total brawl. Uh, grinding, put him in a chokehold, was holding him into a chokehold. When Simon walks out with Lance, gosh, guys, I, I made a, a mention of this. Uh, I know on Patreon and I think on the regular show here, but I had no idea this was what they were going to do. Uh, they threw Lance into the ring. Uh, grind, Tim Grind is, is challenging on getting a ring with Lance behind him. And guess what? By the way, Lance had makeup on. Y'all should have known what he was going to do. Yeah, he gave he gave Dad O shot right in the ooh, -hoo, and they beat him down. So yeah, we got a heel turn with Lance McCade already, and he's going to be with the posse. Man, I can't wait! I can't wait to see him dressed up and see what they do with him. This is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be totally fun. All right, guys, that was our hits, our hits for week 127. All right, Mrs., Mrs., no real Mrs. Like I said, this is one of the best episodes uh, ever, but I, I do get, I do understand why we're doing black and white clips of all the stuff with the posse. But let me tell you, if I was watching it on television and all of a sudden I just was switching channels and I went to black and white, I think something was wrong with my TV. Uh, I understand the reason, but I don't like the black and white clips. You don't have to be black and white to let us know it's uh, it happened in the past. All right, that was my miss. My miss for week 127. MVP. MVP for the week. Week 127. Man, I got to give it. I got to give it to Tim Grind for that promo. And uh, Tim Grind in the end there. Uh, just he just looks so good and with the promo such a professional tim grind i'm giving my mvp for week 127 to tim grind <laughs> all 
All right, up to question of the week. Question of the week. This is a good one. Richie five oh seven emailed us. I want Memphis. I watch Memphis wrestling every week. Please thank Dustin Star for bringing it back. Dustin, thank you. Uh, the question last week was about a cage match. And after watching uh, Dynamite a couple of weeks back, my question is, who would you put in a War Games blood and guts type match? Ooh, that's a good one. Memphis Wrestling Stars. Who would I put in there? Okay. On the bad guy side, the heel side, I put the posse. I would have the LA Hustlers in there. I know they're they're good guys, bad guys, all kinds of different guys, but they would be fun in a match like this. And I would go ahead and bring Cruel back in. There's your five for the heel side. And on the baby face side, let's have Tim Grind, K Toomer, Brett Michaels, Big Swole, and Mike Anthony. Tell me who can beat them. There we go. It had to be two rings, war games, blood and guts type. We'd have to have a whole bigger building, but that would be a fun match. I want to thank you for sending in your question of the week. You can do it by going right here. You can email me or you can call and I will use your message if you are, are good with that right here on Rolling Into Mempo. All right, guys, that was question of the week. Question of the week for week 127. All right, what's happening? What's happening for week 127? Next week, we got Triple R against Ray Collins. That's what's happening. Will we see Austin Lane against Bosby again? Hey, that's what's happening. What's happening with that? And what about Lance Archer versus Cruel in a casket match? That's right, guys. That's what's happening. What's happening for week 127. All right. Must see. Must see for week 127. Must see. The ending. Lance McKay turns against his dad. And also, go out of your way to see the girls match. Solid, solid. Real good. But that turn. Uh, when he gets his son back, they're hugging, and he gets behind him and turns. Go out of your way. Go out of your way to see that one. All right. Guys, you know what I'm fixing to say. Same bad time, same bad channel, and that's 1 o'clock every Saturday right here on the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there, and as everyone knows, I love my mama. <laughs>